Good evening, guys. In previous video, I shown you how to add the shapes and the custom text and then a uh, lot of other things and how to tune them on the working space of your unified networking club. But in real, in real life, and sometimes in the lab, we it is not enough that we are adding just information on working screen, and sometimes we need to use uh, logical diagrams. For that, we have a very amazing feature added in the Unified Networking Club, actually in this UNL and in previous one, as well was possible to do this, to add the custom designed lab and use it as an active, uh, active work screen, just clicking on notes. And uh, let me show you. Uh, the first, uh, we created some labs, yes, and as you see, and that this is a lab just uh, just we use the shapes uh, what are available now in UNL and we added some areas we draw with some uh, circles as well yeah it's a, some tunneling for example and IP addressing is everything is here and everything is nice but layer 3 topology this is actually we we did a drawing on the layer 2 topology this is a physical one what you see but sometimes we need to do the logical topology which is different than layer 2. Let me open up this VSA lab. It looks like that, yeah, it's a, but this is a physical topology and how they are connected. But in scenarios and the books we have to use that one. And this is a logical topology. And in this video I will show you how to add this logical topology and make it active into the unit lab and bind it to uh, to particular lab. Let's do it. Uh, I created this uh, topology on the Visio. It is newest one, Visio 2016. That's a pretty good. I used some uh, Visio stencils. Actually, you can free free download them from internet, from Cisco, whatever. These are uh, Cisco stencils, but I like them. And uh, as you see, this is a logical, and I added a lot of details here. And we will use this topology for uh, this lab. Okay. The first step, what we have to do, is to save your Visio file to convert it to PNG pitch-up file. Let's do it. I'm going to file. Save as, uh, let's say on a desktop, we will say, and save as a type. Look at this, I am choosing the PNG, okay. Uh, you can name it as you wish, yeah, it's a, it will be the VSA lab, and just the VSA, and I'm saying to save. Now it's offering me it's a which format we will use and which uh, resolution will be used. Yeah, it's an I'm recommending for uh, our UNL to use 140 custom and uh, 140. That's it. I'm saying OK. The first first step is done. Let me go back to my screen and here we are. A look at this. The topology is done and now we will start to import it into the UNL. So it the first thing open a lab where where you need to import this picture. The next step I'm going to add the object and look at this. Here are pictures. I'm saying to add the picture. Let's rename it. I will rename it topology. And just browse and find your file. It is on a desktop and we name it as VSA. I'm saying open and add. Let's wait. And look at this, the picture topology added. It's a, it was shown on the bottom in a green, green, green balloon. The next step, I'm going to the pictures button, pressing on it and look at this. The my name of topology appeared here. When I'm clicking here, it appeared. So the topology is loaded but it is not assigned with the clicks we will do it for that reason i recommend to open open one more screen for of your unit uh, unit lab the one more browser and let's do it and 
I'm clicking the notes. Look at this. I'm clicking the notes. This is important to know ID numbers when you are started to click because this sequence is very important because I have to click the first first click on R1, second click because of ID is 2, second click will go to R2 and the 3 goes to R4, 4 to R5. Yeah, this just just for for remember, for uh, for remember and just just to follow how you are clicking. Now I'm going back to second screen here, and pressing edit, edit this topology. Now you see that on the bottom the image map appeared. Just a click on the image map. This uh, just is, it's empty. It's empty now, but it will be all right. Now let's see so which node I have to click first. The first is R1, second is R2, and R4 and R5. Let's do it. You see that uh, the gray circle appeared and I'm pointing it to R1. Click. And you see that the first, first coordination line appeared here. I'm going to click R2. Second line appeared here, right? I'm going to R4 and R5. So, just for, for better look, yeah, it's a, you, you, you can just drag and drop. So here we are. Okay, let's go. To, let's go check on the second screen, which which I, where I have to click next. SV2 and SV3 and 4. 2, 3, 4. I have to click. Okay, let's do it on a switches. On a switch. 2, 3, and 4. Let's check next next steps. The next will be ASA3, VSA. Okay, let's do ASA3, VSA. Okay, let's go check again. And then server and the Windows 7. Server is here. And the Windows 7 is here. So the first step: be careful when you are clicking. Yes, yeah, so don't click anywhere else. Yeah, it's just just using on your topology. Now the next step: we have to assign the node ID numbers because you remember I click at the first node is first uh, number one. I click at the on R two, which is ID number two. Let's do it. So the node, the second click, this coordinates appeared here, and I'm changing it to two. And because you can see that all all numbering are in sequence, and I'm going to change these number numbers like uh, nodes uh, node ID three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, and that's it. But it is not it. When when it is when you are clicking and you know that a click will work on a telnet, that's fine. You need not to change anything on that line. But if your node has to call out VNC session like a server and a management PC machine, how to verify <clears throat> what 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 uh, what these guys are using? <clears throat> So and in in the same screen, look at this. If you are going the names of the devices and look at this, the console, which console is used? For two last guys, it is a server and Windows Seven. We are using the console VNC. How to change it? Going back, the last two guys, I click it on a server and the Windows, and I am changing the telnet name to the VNC, VNC, and I am changing to the V and C. That's it. Topology done and clicks are assigned per per our nodes on this topology. I'm saying to save. Okay, let close me. Uh, close close the lab. Uh, the one the one recommendation is refresh the topology. Okay, and now we can try to run a nodes. Okay, I will start the nodes. And we will test our new new newly added topology, our custom topology. So nodes are started and I'm going to the bottom pictures, calling out topology, no need anymore to press edit. Yeah, it's it's done. And let's try to click. Let's try to, let's try to click. So click click this didn't appear it. Why? What I did? Uh, let me let me try F5. 
refresh topology again topology yeah and you see the finger is appeared this means that everything works yeah it's an i can start to use my topology let's try to click on r1 i'm clicking r1 and the console is opening for r1 i'm clicking r2 fine r4 fine r5 fine uh, asa fine um, switch two good switch three good switch four good v vsa good as well so that's how it works and let me try now the click on the management it should call now vnc not a telnet but vnc session i'm clicking on the pc and as you see the windows windows is called out with a vnc and i'm clicking on a server server as well is called out so that's how it works and 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 you can add more than one picture and the all pictures will appear he appear on the left side one by one here let me show some topology maybe we uh, where i have some more pictures loaded than one okay i'm going to close you can't leave a lab yeah so you have to stop notes i'm stopping the notes so notes stop it i'm going to exit from close lab okay and let me check some somewhere where i have more than one uh, probably rs maybe <laughs> it's aina okay that's aina yeah it's a use this is a physical topology and if you are going to the uh, pictures you can see that one two three four five that's fine so that how it works i think it was informative for you you will use it for your logical topologies and thank you for viewing